Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Page Floor Plan. Probably the best seller uh, here by Richmond American Homes. A beautiful, amazing builder that is building this home in uh, Cabaret, which is a community inside of the Cadence Master Plan community, which is in the city of Henderson. Now, this home has 2,500 square feet, but it can be up to 2,640 square feet. I'll show you inside how. With uh, four bedrooms or three bedrooms and a den, a three-car garage, actually up to five bedrooms this home. That's what I gotta show you when you add square footage to the house, if you wanna do so. Driveway, all that good stuff. Three-car garage in here because it has a tandem in there. And then a beautiful courtyard in the front as well. Now, the prices for this one is actually $570,000 starting price with a lot premium ranging anywhere between 10 to 20,000. Right now they're ranging around 15 is what uh, you know I've seen out there. But then on top of that, you have to add any upgrades that you put into the house. 10 foot ceilings, upgraded granite countertops, flooring and all that stuff. This is a custom home, but you know, you, you can go in there and do whatever you want from the design center. Hold on, I'm gonna show you here this courtyard. It's actually a beautiful size, look at that. And outdoors furniture, it's perfect. Yeah, very peaceful out here. Now as we walk in, by the way, Cadence is a master plan community in Henderson. Has an HOA fee of $50 a month. And uh, we do have new schools going in here because of all the building and all that stuff, new businesses coming in. So really nice and growing area. As we walk in, you see this hallway here. It's, it's just wide, it's just wide open, okay? We're looking about seven feet wide. So it gives you that open feel, okay? In addition, the 10 foot ceilings really add to it as well. As we go to the right, we're gonna start from here. I'm gonna show you two bedrooms with a Jack and Jill bathroom in between. A coat closet to the left. A foot doors come with the house when you get the 10 foot ceilings. And that's usually gonna run you around 10 grand or so to add the 10 foot ceilings, which in my opinion is a must. That's one of those things that you have to do. Going to the first bedroom, very spacious. Sliding door closets. Window on this side in the front of the house. That's a full size bed, but you got plenty of room here to put a queen size, if not even a king, if you put it on this wall right here. That's how big this bedroom is. Dual undermount sinks. It comes with one. You can add the second one for about $1,500. This is the Fusion Quartz that is included in the base price. Okay, when you go to the Science Center, you can keep this one or you can upgrade it. These cabinets are gonna run you around eight grand in the kitchen and also in the bathrooms. And then this tile is an upgrade. It comes with a 17 by 17 ceramic tile. Also in the, bat, in the bathtub right here, you'll just get a fiberglass enclosure. So the same material that you have in that tub, they'll bring it up on the side, on the side, excuse me. And then if you want, you can upgrade something like this where you get a tile wall here. I would say about $3,000 or so, maybe 2,000. Just depends on the tile that you get. As we walk into the second bedroom from the bathroom, You'll see this one is a very good size as well. They put in these full size beds because they look like queen size bed, but they're not quite. But look how much room you have next to it. It makes the room feel a lot bigger. But obviously, you know, for a kid, full size bed is plenty. Okay. As we go back out, we'll reach uh, towards the middle of the house where we have on the right side, this humongous den. Well, Here's the thing. If you put a half bathroom here, boom, you can put the doors over there. Otherwise, I've seen this floor plan with the doors right here. I'm not sure a hundred percent about that, that layout. I'll need to see it on the, on the Mac, but definitely something to consider. But then still this bedroom is very big. We're looking about 11 feet on there by about 12 feet on here. 11 by 12, maybe, yeah, 12. And then you have another five feet on this wall. So this room could be about 18 by 11, which is, which is pretty, pretty impressive. 
Very nice. Double doors, you can add those for about two grand. And then this uh, 12 by 24 tile is the one that they added in this model home, but obviously you would have to, you know, decide for yourself what you want to add in here. Your garage entrance is right here, which is now a an office, so we can't disturb the people working in there. And then you have your coat closet, and as you can see here, washer and dryer with your cabinet set up. You're looking at the, the, the cabinets right here with the sink is gonna run you around 2,000, 2,500, and then another 2,500 for those, another 1,500 for washer and dryer. So keep that in mind, that's not included in the base price. Now here's the cool thing about this one. See this door? This could be the door that accesses the fifth bedroom in the house. And that would be because behind this wall that we see here, so you see right behind this wall, we have a two car garage. That's where their office is. And then behind here, there's an actual one car garage that is tandem. And it goes behind this kitchen, going all the way back. Um, and you know, behind uh, the primary bedroom, okay? And it will make sense once I go in there. But yeah, and you know, three car garage, or you can turn that third car garage into a non-suite. So it have its own bathroom. It will add an, so adding an extra bathroom is definitely great. And then uh, I believe when you add that extra bathroom over there, that with that bathroom, you don't need now a powder room, so it gets rid of that powder room, you make it way bigger than there it is. It's been a while since I went to the design center for this one. Now this is, this is the one. If you are an entertainer, you want a wide open space, you want 10 foot ceilings, you want a huge island like this one, you were talking about 11 feet here of an island for how big it is. And then you want this huge, massive kitchen that kind of expands into your dining room with the extended cabinets right there, which is another $6,000 upgrade, I would say. And on top of that, look at this island. You're seeing right now five seats. I know you can fit six in here. Okay, that's pretty impressive. Love these pendant lights, very industrial look. Gives it that modern farmhouse look. You got a beautiful cut cut of quartz. Perfect for entertainment in here. As you can see, dining room, living room, you have plenty of room to walk around. So when you have a lot of people over, they're not bumping into each other, crawling over each other. You have plenty of room here. It's just awesome. Now, when you get that safe, actually 15 foot sliding door, now that makes a difference because you can open that up, have those two panels open and you have that full backyard with the covered patio. You can put in, let's say a dining room or something out there and it just screams entertainment, right? Some homes will even have a view of the strip depending on the home that you get, which lot it has, but definitely a beautiful option here. Oh, wow. Now, this one has quite some upgrades, but I would say this house out the door is probably gonna run you around $650,000. That's usually what these have been selling for uh, in today's market. After the, the bottom that we saw back in uh, November last year, where they had a bunch of inventory to get rid of. That was a good time. I told you so. If you guys follow my channel, you follow my market updates, go back to my October live videos and you see what I was talking about. Cafe brand here, that would be the highest, uh, you know, brand that you can get, which is still GE, but it's a more luxury, uh, you know, brand of uh, GE. Your pantry is spacious. Look at that. Walk-in pantry. Cabinets. Now these cabinets are gonna run you around 10 grand for the upgrade, plus six grand for the extension. So there's sixteen thousand dollars just to get this style cabinets and the extension all the way to that wall. Because normally the regular cabinets will end right in between those two. So they add all of those cabinets. Okay. Then you get the uh, undermount sink, farmhouse style. Love it. This is probably my favorite sink 
I will eventually change my sink into this, I think, one day. I love it. I regret not getting it in my house. Cafe push-in stove. Your canopy unit on top. Beautiful backsplash. All of these are upgrades that you can choose at the design center. But they have some specs. At 650 out the doors. Similar to what this house is. And it's a gorgeous one. Definitely this 15 foot sliding door is the seller here. Bringing in all that light into the living room, which is very spacious. We're going to the primary bedroom last. Let's go see outside here what we have as far as lot size. Now this home is, uh, has a little bit bigger footprint, you know, at around 2,500 square feet compared to the you know, the one next door, the Patterson, is a little bit smaller, so we'll have more, a few feet extra into the backyard. But still, we do have a beautiful sized backyard here. And one thing is they do have this uh, extended covered patio that goes for the length. Ooh, look at the pool that this guy did. Look at that. That's what you can do. That, that's going to run you, I would say, about 80 grand for the size of the, that pool. And then uh, you could definitely put it in here, you can see. But this covered patio kind of takes away from that pool space. So you would have to do just a regular covered patio that extends, uh, or you can do it after the fact, the covered patio, save money. And then you have right here, your beautiful pool. Actually, I will put the pool right outside of the, of the sliding door right here in the middle. Then you can do a sliding door right there or, you know, some kind of furniture on that side, table on that side, make it look really nice. Anyway, I'm going back in. Again, 650 out the door for this house. Is this a good option? Let me know down in the comments. Also, this is at the time of the video. And if you don't get this price, it's not my fault. Uh, if you get a better price, let me know down in the comments. And uh, maybe if you reach out to me, I'll probably give you the best ch shot at getting the best deal out here in this community. Just because I work with these builders and they know me already, I know what they sell their homes for. Uh, king size bed, as you can see, this page model has a stunning size primary bedroom. As you can see, plenty of room back there to put in another king size bed if you wanted to. Just for reference, obviously, not that you would do that. And we have the tub option in here. The tub is not included, so if you do not want a tub, you can just do the regular sliding door. Sorry, the, the regular walk-in closet, walk-in shower, damn it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, double sinks are separated. It kind of looks awkward when you don't have something in between. I wish they would just put more cabinets and connect it if it didn't have the tub, but it doesn't, so it is what it is. I like the tub option. This is nice. It's a wide one. Perfect to relax in it. Stunning tile. I love this choice here. It really brings a nice ooh, nostalgia feel. I'm getting, I'm shivering. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you can see here, we have tile all the way to the ceiling. Now, this tile, to make it look just like it and upgrade the glass door to the 3 eighths of an inch, you're probably looking at a five grand upgrade here between tile and glass. It's something that usually is not included. You have a thinner glass included and then you have a regular six by six white tile in the shower, okay? Your water closet over here. And then the walk-in closet, which is very spacious. Yeah, definitely want to double rack it though. I feel like that would be a perfect size uh, because when you have the 10 foot ceilings, you have plenty of room, so you can go even higher if you wanted to. They have plenty of room between the two shelves. Also choosing, you know, a company like Closet Las Vegas, Closet Las Vegas to create your own custom closet would be a great option as well. Obviously that gets expensive, six to eight grand to do that. So keep that in mind. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. So as I mentioned, 2,500 square feet, it becomes a 2,650 square feet home if you add that third, that fifth bedroom back there because it has two in the front, then a fourth, 
and fifth, well, the den would be turned into a bedroom as well if you wanted to. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys need any help purchasing a home, I would love to represent you and be a realtor. All my commissions are paid by the builder, so it's something you might want to consider. That way you get the experience behind you, you get someone that is experienced with relocating people, especially from out of town. Um, to give you that insight on what it means to live here in Las Vegas, give you the neighborhood um, you know, data that you need in order to make a good decision whether that's the right neighborhood for you and just guide you through the whole process, negotiating with the builders and all that stuff. Some people think, oh, we, you don't need a realtor going to a new home and do it. But the experience that I bring to the table uh, with new builders is what you need. Maybe you don't need a resale realtor because they don't know anything about new homes, but uh, you might need a, a new home specialist like myself or other ones out there. You don't have to go with me, but at least get a realtor that can represent you because that's a big difference uh, when it comes to buying a home. It makes a huge difference negotiating and all that stuff. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Bye now.